Hey folks, Yara here and welcome to Emberscape and today I will make pictures for the ember inclusions inside of these 12 pieces of ember. Every single one has inclusions, every single one is 99 million years old from the Cretaceous period. It took me a while to collect a few pieces of ember because they are getting increasingly more expensive. In two of my last videos I show you pictures made by the professionals of ember inclusions and they have like these very cool professional setups to make pictures and because of that for me it was a little bit more hard to start making this video because I can't get nowhere near the results of pictures the Arthur is getting or Michelle is getting or Enrico is getting I have this simple setup with some LED lights quite cheap uh, microscope and the only nice thing I have is these double gooseneck uh, cold lights for my base, I'm using mirror because it reflects the light and everything is more light around the ember. The light will spread proportionally near the ember and so the everything will be more light inside. And light is what I need. Okay, let's start uh, from this plant. I think it's gonna be a fern. Yes, it is a fern and it's quite nice, but as every other plant, it's quite dark. And I want to show you why backgrounds are so important when you are making pictures with the microscope. This plant is generally, it's quite dark, we can see that. But look what happens when I just make a background darker, when the inclusion is dark. Check this out. Neat. <laughs> a lot more details visible instantly. And I found something interesting. While changing the background, something uh, did get into my eye. And there is more inclusions than just the plant. Let's inspect this piece a little bit closer. And let's move the microscope around. This single piece, it has so many inclusions, there is multiple flies, the mite, this one looks like a beetle larva, yeah, but every single one is super tiny, you can barely see them with the naked eyes, very interesting piece, I'm very pleased. Yeah, this one was fantastic and we make some pictures, amazing piece, I'm very pleased with this one, like so much life in one single piece, amazing. And now speaking about lots of life in single piece, we have a mini swarm of mating flies, there's a dozen of them, maybe even more, amazing stuff. And we also will check them a little bit with the microscope. And let's see. These flies are super tiny, but yeah, it is a mating swarm and that's quite cool. You don't see uh, pieces like that very often. And now I will quickly make pictures for every single piece and we will look at all of them at the same time together. The pictures are done and only few of them are uh, okay, the rest of them are not very good. Either way, uh, I will show you what I have and let's start from this small tiny insect. Well, it's not that small, it's around 3 millimeters in diameter, it has quite powerful legs and it has carapace with the texture of a leaf, which is quite interesting. And this insect is Frogoidea, or in simpler terms the plant hopper. 
not a big piece of amber but it's quite clear and yeah it looks quite cool even though i think he is missing the head because i don't see the head or the antennas so it is what it is now next comes this quite nice piece of amber very clear very nice nicely polished and it's not very small it feels very good in hand the insect inside has wings at first i wasn't sure what kind of insect it is but on their magnification i saw that it is a neuroptera judging by the wings when we magnified the insect even closer we saw the raptorial claws and the raptorial says me that this is mantispidaea a predatory kind of neuroptera that feeds on other insects quite a good catch before making pictures i mentioned that i have a few snails and this one is one of them it's the size of a fingernail very tiny piece and even tinier snail but it is quite nicely preserved and it's mostly complete and one interesting thing that i can say about this snail that it's not a land dwelling animal this one is aquatic not marine not salt water but it lived in the sweet water so and as you know every aquatic insect in amber is more rare than land dwelling one because it's less likely for water living animals to get into the raisin in the first place so yeah very nice snail even though it's very small and this piece is also quite chunky and the beetle inside is not that small and i can still say even without taking the pictures this is a click beetle the only sad part is that it is a little bit damaged it was damaged when it was cut it it wasn't done by me but either way it's very sad one piece of us is damaged and from the very front of the head is also a damage other than that quite nice click beetle and now another fingernail like literally fingernail <laughs> uh, shape yeah literally but while it is smallest ember by far it is the biggest inclusion and it is a isopoda and yeah it's very nicely preserved it has even a little bit of pearl essence on the carapace yeah the tougher the carapace the better it is being preserved in ember quite pleased with the quality of this specimen once again quite pleasing piece of amber very transparent bright yellow color and inside it has this weird looking inclusion and it is a flower also known as the fire flower as, as often with the flowers it is quite oxidized Oxidation shows as the black texture on the uh, inclusion itself, but other than that, it's quite complete and nice. Even though I see very tiny bit of damage at the front, but I'm not even sure if it's a damage or it's just a layer of ember. Could be a little bit of damage, but other than that, it's quite cool. From other side, it's perfect. And the best one is the highest quality one and inclusions are the one of the best and the rarest you can find are the gastropods and this piece has two of the gastropods one is medium sized and one is tiny one and we can see from the very start that the uh, bigger gastropod is damaged like uh, not damaged by uh, cutting the ember but it is uh, the shell of this gastropod is crushed so that's a little bit unfortunate, but the other one that is tinier, it's perfect. It reflects the light very nicely. It has nice pearlescence on the shell and basically a perfect tiny gastropod. And the piece as uh, a whole is very uh, scenic, I would say. There is a lot of uh, flow lines inside and this weird white thingy, which would be uh, soft tissue rem remains but i won't say that because i'm not totally sure either way very cool very nice piece and this one is as good as it gets as the gastropods basically and all the remaining pieces uh, that are left are basically a plant fossils and 
most of them are considered big plant fossils. This is all, all, also basically as good as it gets. This one, it will stay in my personal collection, I won't let it go. But this other beauty, it will be up for sale. Unfortunately, but yeah, I don't have to let it go. Either way, this is basically a meta sequoia branch and the rest of them are the ferns. I will leave basically a slideshow of videos and pictures as the video ends. And yeah, basically this is it for this video. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for more Ember content. And fingers crossed, uh, the next video will be Ember hunting, guys, because this weekend I will go to the sea. There is a good wind, so there is a chance that I will produce some ember hunting content for you and for my own pleasure. So see you then and thanks for watching and bye!